All right, hello. Uh, so yeah, burning DVDs is a pretty fun thing to do, I guess. It's useful for backups and and ups, things of the sort. So basically, you just need a program entitled WinX DVD Ripper. Um, there's a free trial for it, but the free trial only allows you to do a five minute video burn, which obviously is restrictive and really, really can't be used for anything. Um, there's a paid version for about like 30 or $40, I don't really remember. Um, so yeah, you can buy that. And there are ways of getting it for free. I'm not endorsing it, but I'm saying that th there are things out there. There are ways out there to get it for free. But uh, do what you will with that information. Also image burn, which I mean, I actually don't know if, <laughs> if this works as well. Um, you can probably use Image Burn too, but uh, I prefer WinX DVD Ripper because it's, I think it's more reliable. Image Burn is also like, I don't know, people say it's pretty good, but I don't really, I don't know, I've never really, I don't really use it that much. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this with the WinX, the WinX DVD Ripper. So let's just open it, and you're also gonna need a CD to burn. So we're making a, an ISO, a .ISO file onto our computer from the DVD, just to just to be clear. Uh, yeah, okay, cancel. Uh, so basically, if you go to your discs, right now I don't have anything plugged in. I don't have any CD or DVD in my DVD ROM drive, so, well, what you gotta do is just, got my ROM right here, put it in there, and just, just wait. And then go to disc. It processes. Process faster. All right, and it detects it as D new, and of course Windows 10 also detects it as that. So we're just gonna press OK, and it does its thing. Well, I don't even know what it does. So uh, to create a DVD 8 to ISO, I believe you go to DVD backup, and then clone DVD to ISO image. Uh, the ISOs are easy and really nice because they're really like they're really pliable. You can do pretty much anything with an ISO. You can burn it to a DVD, a DVD easy, and you can also run it on something like VLC Media Player very easily. So we're gonna click that and press OK. Whatever I found, whatever this is already on, like whatever it has already uh, uh, checked off is probably right and you just want to leave it as that I don't really when that's what I do and when, when when that happens it seems to work just fine just just like the DVD would so I wouldn't really click anything else unless you know what you're what are you doing like a lot of these are just zero seconds which I don't I don't really know where these come from so yeah you just basically I have it set as my desktop to put on my desktop but you can browse and really put it wherever you want uh, so I'm gonna put it as my desktop and then you just press run and it should be good to go and once it's done I'll I'll see you when it, I'll see you when it's done this will pop up and it will just give you a status bar and so yep okay we'll, we'll see you when it's done okay midway status um it's, 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 it's almost done here but uh, I just wanted to make note that it's you can probably hear this it is very loud my computer is just like going at it ROM is just like exploding over there, but but that's normal. It's just because it's spinning really fast and reading it really fast, so just optimal reading time and look, the reading time's going down. So don't be alarmed if it sounds like your computer's gonna explode, because that's what happens. All right, so it it finished. Uh, I accidentally clicked something. It, it it would say when it's finished, it will say all. It'll pop a, a small little window here, like like the size of my mouse going around. Say all jobs done, and then you'll just cl click OK, and we'll open the fi the file location of it. So it will it open my desktop file. Um, so yeah, I just clicked OK. So it is it is right here. It will be entitled whatever the DVD was um, entitled. So mine is a new.iso. So now you have your. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. So yeah, it's just the you know stuff. Anyway, you let's see how many gigabytes it is. They're, yeah, they're often like a lot of gigabytes, like ISO files are not small, not compressed in any way. 
uh, which is good and bad, but you know, oh well. Uh, so if, what with this you can copy it to another D DVD with the same program even, like you can you know just clear, like you could do the ISO image and then you can convert it to and burn it to an actual disc, which is pretty interesting. Um, and then you can also which which I do this I mean I do that sometimes, uh, but I don't have really big I don't have big enough. Uh, open DVDs for that. My DVDs that I have are only like 700 megabytes for just, you know, small audio things. Uh, but what I use this for is, like, I keep them on my external hard drive, which is like 2 terabytes, and then I'll transfer them to other computers and watch them with uh, VLC Media Player, which is right here. So VLC Media, VLC media Player is uh, probably the best media player, in my opinion. It's very versatile and it works with a lot of things. So if you want to watch the ISO that you just made, so I'll, I actually, for for effect, I have I have undone my DVD. The DVD is out of the computer, and it's just the ISO that's on the computer. So you go to VLC Media Player, then to Open File, Desktop, and New ISO, and you'll have stuff. Let me turn. Let me turn the audio down. All right. So yeah, now you've got your whatever you burned, and so you just you know, and you can interact with it. VLC Meter Player is really cool because you can interact with the with the stuff, which is helpful. So you don't need a remote or anything. Let's go back to. It. For some reason, this I can't. I can't even press this one. Uh, how do I do this? Yes. I'm already on that. No, I'm not. The heck? Oh, now I'm. So yeah, you could just go to go to this and do stuff. You know, watch futile attraction. And then, you know, oh, hello, tool time. And watch some good old. Home improvement from the from the nineties. Great show by the way. One of my favorites. Probably my favorite show of all time. So yeah, that's I think that's basically it. You can rename this, you know, to uh, home improvement. I believe this is season seven disc three. So I just oops, it's oops, I'm stupid. It's in I'm watching it so I can't rename it. Well, let's try that again. Home and Improvement season seven. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. Really? Oh, is it? I don't. Anyway, it's just open. It's it's open somewhere, and I can't rename it right now. So, anyway, yeah, that's basically it. Have fun with Win X DVD Ripper Platinum. Yeah, good program. Good television show good everything. Okay, bye.